I'm going to start this question off by showing you how you differentiate exponentials. So if you were to have something like, let's say, y is equal to e to the power of x squared, the differential of this, we would use the chain rule, e to the u, u is x squared. So then dy du would be e to the u, du dx would be 2x. And then dy dx, multiply the two things, we end up with 2x e to the power of u, where u is x squared. So what we see from this is, at the top we have, let's say, e to the power of some function of x. And what we have here is the differential of that function of x multiplied by e to the power of f of x. So in other words, when you differentiate this, you get the exact same thing, but the differential of f of x comes out in front. So then, if that's the case, if we're integrating f dash x times e to the power of f of x, just following this process backwards, if this differentiates to make this, then this will integrate to make that. So this should be something of the form of e to the power of f of x. It may be off by a constant, so our solution will be of this form. So what we have on the left side is the same thing. We have f dash x here, we have this multiplied by e to the power of f of x. Sin x differentiates to make cos x, hence why it's of this form. So our solution would be of the form of e to the power of sin x, e to the power of f of x. Differentiate this, use the chain rule, dy du is this, sin x differentiates to make cos x, times the two things together, we get cos x e to the u, or cos x e to the sin x, which is exactly, so this differentiates to make exactly what we have up here. Therefore, this integrates to make this. Our answer will then be e to the power of sine x plus c.